Well, first of all, what got you into growing cactus? It was the 60s. Um, we used to have a vegetable lady used to come around, a big truck, an Italian lady, I think it was, and deliver a truck. I lived in Wodonga, and mum used to buy veggies off her. And one day there was, uh, she rolled up and there was two jam tins painted green. Yeah. And one had a, an Echinopsis in it, and the other one had an Epiphyllum. Yeah. The very common red epiphyllum. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so mum bought them. And then why? And we sort of, I think the first year there was a couple of little pups come off it sort of thing on both of them, and the epiphyllum took off. And the flower would come, you know, on both of them. And they're most common plants that you'd come across, but magnificent flowers. And you've got to think that's a 60s, so we got all excited. And then something else appeared, mum would sort of pick up another little, and a very common stuff, even like a prickly pear or something like that. And it was just started like that. So when I finally left home and came to Melbourne, I might have picked up a mammal or something like that. And once it had pups, I took it off offsets and just gave them to mum. So it started from that. And then for years and years, I just had a very small collection. And then I built that glass house uh, and started housing them in there and had just pretty basic sort of stuff. And then through the 90s, I worked two jobs for a while and I end up losing most of it because I didn't go near it for three years. <laughs> and you don't go near a glass house for three years, everything dies in it. When my parents died in 1990, I sort of, a few things I were left, I started showing a bit of interest again and growing them again. Uh, and then just things started happening and then I found about, about the society. I started just trolling it, not joining or anything like that, just watching things and getting online. When the internet sort of got, started getting a bit big. And then from there on, uh, yeah, started buying a few more plants on the internet and then watching what people were doing online, whether through the Cactus Societies all over the place, or whatever, and just learn a little bit, not a hell of a lot, and then finally a couple of years ago I joined, so I started going. But most of this stuff was growing in pots and stuff, so I started, you know, I might have picked up the, I love euphorbias for some reason, because it was so easy to grow. Uh, I sort of stuck them in, or go down to Garden World, or pick up, you know, it used to be a couple of dollars for a little plant, stick them in, that's where these things come from, and little tiny plants, and yeah, a lot of them have died, some of them keep growing, you know, it's just that, that's how I got into it, just by accident, and a vegetable lady. But so, how long have you been part of the society? Well, I was. This is my fourth year, I think, but I've only been going to meetings for two years. So it took me a long time to go. I finally got the courage up to go to one meeting, and I sort of, you know, you just feel a bit sort of nervous and stuff like that. And then um, my son Alex, he sort of said, "How'd you go?" And I said, "Oh, good." And people are yakking about that, and he says, "You going back?" I said, "Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it." And he says, "I'll come." So that was it then. As soon as he was coming, you go on a pair, then you've got someone to just back you up a little bit and you get a little bit more confident. And I, I was following societies and a lot of the blogs and stuff that were on there. And I don't know if the Cactus Society was part of that initially. But then, yeah, I found it was just, I think it was, wasn't in Waverley then, it was somewhere else. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then and I saw it just here and I thought, oh, bloody hell, I might go, I might go. Yeah. So when I joined, I think it was about 18 months before I got the courage up to go. But you finally went. And that's been fantastic. I mean, I'm just so wrapped and. I mean, the generosity, really the generosity of people there when they sell their plants, like... So the generosity of people got me first off when I sort of went there, just how cheap things were and how available it was, just the sales and the meeting. Yeah. And then you go to the show and I thought, Jesus, oh, this is fantastic. Plugs, plugs sort of roll up with all these stalls everywhere. It's like Christmas for a little kid. You know? So going to the shows, so you, you went to shows earlier on before you were even a member? Yep. Yeah. And seeing the plants at the shows, did you think to yourself, I could grow plants like that, or were you sort of blown some away? Some of them, you're blown away with some of them. It just, I can't grow plants like that. I'm not going to live long enough to some of the stuff that was on the show. But a lot of the other plants, oh, you know, just, just, yeah. And they're for sale. It's wonderful. But yeah, look, the yeah, and to grow it, and then to think, just the yeah, eniums and stuff like that, I had real trouble growing them, and I was so generous and kind, and I learned all of a sudden, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be so generous and kind. You know, they've got a lot growing in rubbish, so. Started growing a few decent ones on the other side of the, the railing there, but they, they start growing a bit better. You know, they like junk soil. I didn't know that. It, it's you don't. That's the sort of stuff you pick up off other people. You know, just just little tips and bits and pieces that come along. So, what what are some of the little secrets that you've picked up along the way with with growing some of your favourite plants? So? Well, mate, it's, it's look, Wayne's big one is uh, drainage, 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 and he sort of goes, and you finally get it right, and you think you've got it right. Add another 20% or whatever, something like that, he sort of goes. Even though he calls all the stuff goat food if it's not a cactus sort of thing. But you know, he sort of, yeah, that's, that'd be the, the main one for growing all this stuff because I was a little bit too much on the potting mix side before. I put a little bit of grit and whatever with it, but I wasn't overly generous with the drainage. So 
That sort of, yeah, but now just, you know, some of the stuff probably drains too well, but it grows and it grows so well now. Look, it's the most pretty healthy. In the winter, they get knocked around because most of them are outside, but they come good by the end of summer, they'll all be firing up again. <laughs> So what, what inspired you then to start growing plants for show, or did you start... The initial up? show, no, I had plants that probably were, were showable, but not up to the standard, like the open, where, where I'll be now. But um, I thought when I went to the first show that up here in Glen Waverley, I had a look at some of the plants, and I thought, Geez, I'll probably match that, I'd have a crack at that sort of thing, if I ever went, you know, I could grow. I have grown that, and I was like the mams, there was a couple of bits and pieces I had around the place. And um, so about two years ago was the first time I showed the stuff. So last year was only the second time I showed stuff. So it was just, yeah, I thought the stuff that was especially on the novice side that I could match that, a lot of the open stuff, no, not yet. Most of the stuff here has grown, oh, some from seed, but most of it just from little seedlings. I haven't bought a lot of big plants until the last year, maybe a year or two. I bought reasonable size stuff, but most stuff, it used to be like, the couple of dollar plants, you know, the really cheapy sort of stuff initially. To get this, this thing, it's a garden world, you know, just, just bang, pick up a little bit, and there she sits, you know. That was in a pot for many, many years, and was just sitting there and sort of didn't do a hell of a lot. Got a couple of branches, which has been chopped off and given to Alex. But, um, yeah, and has plonked in the ground, but that was just a baby, and it's not that long ago, really, maybe 10 years or something like that, but it was in a pot for a long, long, long time. So, were you surprised then with the result? last year of uh, yep yeah. i when i got because we were selling and because i had my first stall so i actually hadn't gone into the room until late on the saturday and i think maxine actually come in the afternoon with an auntie and she said she you won some prizes and i said what a lot and she said yep so there's this tickets all over the place so that's when I, th I went and had a look and I, just the numbers and i thought I remember hearing about the points the year before and i thought jesus this is going to add up to quite a few so i thought okay this is going to be a little bit embarrassing because because I ended a lot too, it's not like, you know, you saw what I brought in there. I mean, had a full-on crack, you know, just bringing everything sort of thing. Because it's, it's part of growing them is to be able to show them off, isn't it? It's part of the pleasure is, is to show people. You don't grow it to sort of hide it and everything like that. That's why it's out the front now. And that's what a lot of people walk past, they end up, you know, having a bit of a chat coming in, grabbing a plastic bag and walking away with cuttings. <laughs> it's good. You get to share it and then when they hear you show off a bit too, sort of thing. So it's, it's impressive. It's not up to the the, the you know, um, Wayne sort of category and stuff like that, what a, a tiller would have, even Heinz, you know, I've been around Heinz's place, this is the stuff they've got, Joylene, can't compete with that, but it's not bad, I mean, because for a relatively young collection, some of the stuff's old, like this, I've had that since a baby, um, but it's a relatively young collection, it's not bad, but in, to get to the showing stage where I'm going to sort of do well in the open, I don't want another 10 years, <laughs> don't you, you know, well, some of the stuff, I mean, the Hawthiers might do, do alright, but but they only got a couple of categories. Huh? Oh, well, we'll see this year, eh? So. <laughs>